What is going on my beautiful people? It is Baseblade here again with another Fortnite video for you. As they seem to be doing pretty well and it does seem to be the game at the moment. Uh, bar obviously the popular uh, PUBG. Which as most people do know anyway is... Uh, we will soon find out about that. Anyway. Yeah, we've got a nice collection of me again. Um, on a pub dress solo this time. As you can see this one was uh, done live, it was over on Twitch. Um, please go over there, follow me if you like. It's not very often I do do anything live on there, but when I do, it can be good. I mean, recently, uh, apart from doing the odd Fortnite game, I uh, did live stream a ghost hunt, uh, which me and my friends did go on, and there'll be another one of those coming up pretty soon. So, if you if you are interested in that sort of thing with the, the live action stuff, let me know. Drop a comment down below, and uh, we'll do some more live things, either via game or by something else on Twitch. But as you know, if I do do anything game live wise, it is the majority of the time on YouTube. Uh, it's just that for some reason this does come with uh, a built-in sort of thing for uh, Twitch. This game does, but. It was always just very, very handy, and I mean, I'm no expert at this game, as you all know. I mean, Christ, look at this, I'm still getting used to the goddamn controls after nearly off a month of playing it, but it is just, it, it's just so damn fun to run around and try and survive. It, it does get the blood racing and the, the heart going, and oh, I mean, busting through this wall now, you just never know if there's going to be anybody straight outside there just waiting lurking I mean look at the pool weapons I've got as well man I mean if there was anybody around here I mean oh god mountains I tell you something nowadays if I ever go out I stay away way far away from mountains because they scare the Jesus out of me because you just never know what is up there or what is camping up there because Granted, as you, as you all know, really, I am a run and gun kind of person, but, oh man, on this, you do have to camp as much as possible and hide out and try and trick as much as you can, because uh, they will get you. And yes, I still cock up with pressing the wrong button for the bloody dancing instead of putting the map up. It is such a nightmare. I can't tell you or express how much anger it brings me because I do cop that up a lot. But I will say this is one tactic I have found that does work quite well. And it is purely by chance, uh, due to uh, one of the people I normally play with on this spanner. If you can camp long enough for the first one or two uh, cloud slash circles, then you're golden, near enough anyway. I mean, if you can find somewhere where nobody else is going to look, or you, you can have a good spot out, it's unreal, I tell you, because your chances of survival do go up massively and I've got to say I do camp in here for quite some time as you will soon see
told you it was sometime, but it's something I'm not apologetic for anymore because within Fortnite Battle Royale, you have got to be able to try and stay alive as long as possible because unless you can obviously drop where you've got the good weapons or if like some of my friends that you are an absolute dead shot then really you've got no chance and I am one of these people who are just so fecking unlucky on this and I do just try to survive because oh, I am an absolute poor poor with a capital Bwah! shot I mean look it's getting smaller now so obviously do my thing and creeping nice and slow me trying to predict where the uh, the final circle is going to be let's just say I am alpha O uh, well alpha 3 million or whatever on this because I've never ever predicted correctly I mean look at the wall there oh, that poxy wall that's got me a few times I tell you not because I'm slow or anything, it's just because I've not watched the time well enough. And that, um Instead of trying to be clever and get my way around, I've just absolutely fraggled it and got caught. So when you look at this, the, the time's running out fantastically now, and I think I can run around the outside to trying to dodge this like. And, oh, God, it ain't gonna happen, because... As soon as you run on this, people will notice you. Because you leave that massive dust trail behind that absolutely wrecks your chances of trying to be as stealthy as possible. Which is such a golden nightmare on this. And especially when you're trying to do this, I mean, look at that. You've got that watchtower there. There could be a numerous amount of people waiting in there for that. Because the now people are going to come flooding over and just camp in there with the sniper. Which I've got to say on this, the snipers are so OP. It's ridiculous. Granted, I'm not a massive sniper user because, like I said, I am a more runner gun person. I am not too good with this sort of. Um, camping in one position and carrying on sort of thing but I think it's something I've got to adjust myself to but yeah now I start to realise that I'm, 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 I'm in the crap time's running out and I'm too far away from the next safe zone so it's legging it again look at that getting that goddamn jig on again oh it's just terrible, isn't it? I don't get killed running all the way through that and not getting spotted is absolutely beyond me I mean I thought some of these players were a lot better than that and that some of the, somebody would have spotted me at least just to say that uh, I was I was right on the cringe lucky there he's, he's a small understatement shall we say I mean, look at that wall. I can still see the wall, so now the, the, the ring's either getting closer, or I'm just not far enough away, shall we say. But, let's persevere, and uh, hide as much as possible, because there are shots around me, and I know that there are people around me, because there are things building. And I swear, one day I will be able to record the sounds and everything for you, so you can hear us play just for some reason the audio always messes up and it is unbelievable but I do apologise about that to a degree or 
if you want to watch that, listen to the whole thing, jump over to my Twitch channel. And I do believe the video is still up there, along with my Ghost Hunter one. But this is this is what I mean about panic time. I've entered a building where there are where there's definitely signs of people either been there or they're still there. But I've got no other choice. I need to hide out for a bit. The wall's getting closer. And I can't be in the open like I am now. I mean, Jesus Christ. This has got to be one of the luckiest games that I've ever played, if I'm totally honest. I mean, if somebody could spot the top of my head there, I am the proper goner. I mean, gone so far as you'll never ever see me again, but look. And I've got to say, my heart was beating out my goddamn chest at this point because you just never ever know where somebody is and don't ask me how I managed to find a gate in the whole of this that's just one of the strangest things I've ever seen but why do you need a gate in an apocalypse war zone sort of place is a bit beyond me but there you go I do try to carry on because there's somebody I don't know why I felt brave going out to actually try and catch somebody I mean I don't know who I think I am I'm definitely not that good to do trying to things like this because I can definitely just hear and see just right out the corner and I don't know why I'm feeling ever so brave but I think I can get this kill let's just see what happens and there we go got the kill and then lo and behold as soon as I run in to go and fetch the equipment shots fired straight away and what can I say that sounds about right so and then a snipe great so like comment and subscribe don't forget to check for regular competitions and much love